nice to see that you clicked on this video because here I want to talk about some very important safety stuff um, about the emergency exit actually because there are some cases where the emergency exit in a glider can be very difficult. We are all wearing a parachute but it doesn't help you if you cannot manage to get out of the glider and I'm gonna show you a video that I brought with me which represents how hard it is to escape from a glider without the so-called Rögerhagen and that's why I want to show you some experiments the Ackerflieg Aachen um, did in the past years and they show how just a little improvement can help you to get out of a glider and we're gonna watch the video together and I'm gonna try my best to react to it appropriately in English because the video is in German and we're gonna watch it together now. So they mounted a glider onto a car to simulate the experience of flight um, and they drove about 80 kilometers per hour and here we can see how they just put the canopy on without any uh, modification and the pilot is gonna try to get out of the glider. So here we're driving and here he pushes but you can see how the air just presses the canopy back on and the pilot is struggling to even get the canopy off and now here he managed it but it hit his head um, and here's another experiment where they just drove and the canopy didn't even get off at all. So here we get um, the feather which pushes the canopy up, which is supposed to help the pilot, but the air pressure is just too high and, and the canopy falls back onto the plane and you're still not able to escape. Um, and in the third case, we implemented both the feather and the Rügerhaken, as you can see here. So same procedure again, but here you can see how he pushes strongly and the canopy just flies away and that's what we want. So I'm gonna show you right now how to implement such a um, Rügerhaken and it is a significant improvement of your security and that's why I think it's really important just to check if your club's LS4 has something like that. Also let me know in the comments what you think about it um, and yes. Let's get to work. It's gonna be here and you see it's touching and I'm just gonna take out a little bit. I finished the cutout right now and now it has approximately the shape of this piece and this one is supposed to be screwed on over here and what I am gonna do in, as a next step is I have to sit inside see the distance between the hole and our screw up here it has to be five millimeters away from the back side of the hole and I have to adjust the position fixate it and then um, we can see which screw hole is the right one. So I'm gonna sit inside now and um, let's see where this one goes. Just once again, here we have our cut out and it matches the shape of the hole. And here are three different positioned holes that I have to choose one out of them. This distance, I mean this one, needs to be five millimeters. So now that I sat inside, I found out that I need to use the front holes um, and this means the part is too long because the canopy here has like a step inside and I cannot move it further than that. And in the instructions they say that I have to shorten the piece now. So that's what I'm gonna do and then we can go back to work. So that's what I'm gonna cut off. Uh, I'm gonna fix that. So I'm gonna go and 
and drill a hole here. So the holes are fitting, we're ready for the next step. They're supposed not to look through and that's the case. They're perfectly inside their holes. This is how it's gonna be attached and I'm gonna draw the shape of our form. Let's close the canopy and see it fits so well. And this is 12 or so. 16 sogar. 